Namaste to everybody. My name is Vinu Joseph, and uh, I am an alumni, a proud alumni of uh, CMRIT. I, I uh, went to CMRIT from 2007 to 2011, and uh, I would like to take a few moments uh, uh, to describe my experience uh, that, I, that I had at CMRIT. Uh, before that, I would uh, I, I would all I would let you uh, I would I hope you're all safe uh, in this time of quarantine and lockdown. I'm sure things will uh, get well uh, get well very soon. Um, uh, to kind of go over uh, who I am, I made like a small presentation that uh, that I would like to go over as we kind of talk. Uh, it's, it's a small presentation. I would like to like go over you know my educational timeline and how I landed up at CMRIT and my experience at CMRIT and where I am now. So my early early days of schooling started in uh, in uh, Vidyodaya NAL Nursery School. NAL, as you saw, some of you might know, is National Aerospace Lab. It's it's a CSIR lab in Bangalore on Old Airport Road. So this was a school established in '84, um, and I went there from. Um, from uh, from 92 to 95 and uh, these are some of the early memories of uh, my childhood days there and uh, after uh, after you know 3 years of schooling there i went to a school uh, called KVNL it's it's a kendriya vidyalaya uh, within the nl campus and uh, i went there from 95 to 2007 and uh, these are some uh, you know memories from those days uh, the first one is is the top right is on the you know 10th standard uh, uh, I was awarded for like uh, for doing well on my 10th standard examinations, and the bottom right is all my friends, uh, you know, who studied with me for 12 years in the school. So uh, NL and ISRO have uh, have played a very important role in uh, in in shaping my uh, my early early childhood, uh, you know, way of thinking and trying to solve problems. That got me interested in in engineering. And uh, after my uh, uh, schooling at uh, at the CMR at uh, KVNL, I joined CMRIT. And uh, at CMRIT, I I was here from 2000, uh, 2007 to 2011, and um, and uh, this is how the college looked uh, way back in 2007. Um, these are some of the some of the like uh, memories that I have. Uh, from uh, from those days, uh, the bottom right, bottom left is uh, like an article that the management published in the in the college magazine to encourage students, uh, uh, you know, to motivate them uh, to do well, particularly if they've done well in uh, in in video examinations. And that particular year, I had like topped the university, uh, and uh, consecutive consecutive semesters, I was performing well, and in particular in engineering mathematics, which I love. Uh, uh, to this day, uh, the management had invited uh, the then uh, education minister uh, Arvind Nimbavli uh, to to present me like with a token of appreciation. Um, so to talk more about uh, CMRIT, I definitely have to bring up uh, the, the, the 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 lecturers and professors who uh, who who played a very important role, particularly Tukaram sir, Ravisha sir, PNM sir. Manjunath uh, sir, in the in in the in the first year of my engineering, so so Tukaram sir and uh, Ravi sir played a very important role in um, in 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 my in my in my in my, in my, in my physics uh, physics uh, learning of uh, um, you know the the initial uh, my first uh, cycle was a physics cycle. So uh, if you are from CMRIT, you would know that the first year would be uh, would be split. Uh, like either you either you would study in physics or would you study chemistry? So my first semester was uh, physics, and then uh, I fondly remember uh, uh, Ravi Shastri handing over uh, having over my book, like Richard Feynman's uh, book, that uh, that he that you know that's how they encourage students to you know pursue a career in research. So pursuing a career in research was something um, that was inculcated uh, very in my very early stages of engineering. I'm very thankful to. Uh, Ravi sir for that, and uh, professors like uh, Tukaram, B N M, and uh, and uh, and Manjunath sir, uh, I, I, they they are so passionate about uh, like uh, delivering lectures and uh, and uh, 
and, and in teaching and that's that's a very like uh, I mean, current students might not uh, might not realize uh, but it's uh, it's very rare and uh, it's it's very rare to find you know very passionate teachers and um, and once I finished my first year uh, um, I, I went on to uh, the electronics department which was uh, then headed by Indumati ma'am uh, we had the great lecturers like Papa ma'am Suganya ma'am and Sharmila ma'am um, who really like motivated uh, a lot of a uh, lot of lot of us all, all of us during uh, during our engineering days um, and um, and 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 I, and I would like to say that you know the four years of college uh, at CMRIT was uh, was a really uh, a very memorable experience uh, in, in, in an academic uh, in an academic sense and uh, also at, at overall uh, you know shaping of uh, like a character as um, as a, as a young engineer, uh, which is uh, what uh, helped me when I went on to uh, I went on to get my first job at uh, ARM. Um, ARM is a is a, a low power uh, a CPU architecture company, and um, they, they they compete with Intel now in in uh, in, in the CPU space at, at server class as well with sixty four bit CPUs. But uh, in that, uh, so I, I was very fortunate to join um, ARM after my electronics and communication um, engineering at CMIT. And, uh, you know, courses like microprocessor, microcontroller, um, you know, operating, operating systems, they're all, they're all, they, they all helped me, you know, secure this job. And uh, as many of you will realize later in your career that your first job uh, will probably be uh, the most important decision or most important career uh, stepping stone. Mm, so I was very fortunate to have uh, had the foundations and fundamentals uh, to be able to have cracked the written written test and then the oral interviews uh, because it was a very uh, intense process to get into this uh, prestigious company. After spending four years, um, um, by the way, this company is 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 uh, is very close to our college. Um, as uh, you might know, that there are like very big companies like AMD, Samsung, Intel. And uh, you know, big tech Nvidia, big tech companies uh, in, in and around CMRIT. Um, so I was, uh, I had this choice of spending 40 years there, and, and that would have been a very great uh, experience by itself. But I decided to only spend four years there, and and then decided to pursue higher studies in computer science. Uh, so I went on to get my masters in the University of uh, Utah. Uh, Utah is a state in uh, Utah is a state in the U.S. And uh, these are some uh, images uh, of the University of Utah campus, and um, and uh, and I've had like a really great experience getting my masters here. And again, uh, my uh, my basics that uh, that I developed in uh, you know in CMRIT, particularly in subjects like electromagnetic field theory and antenna wave and propagation, digital signals and systems, um, control systems. And um, you know the, the, the initial days of physics, and then um, you know subjects like uh, uh, yeah the microprocessor. They really helped me when I when I was doing my masters in computer science. And uh, right now uh, I'm pursuing my PhD since 2017, and uh, and uh, my PhD is like uh, is mentored by Nvidia. NVIDIA is a graphics processing unit company. It's, it's, it's predominantly used for computer gaming, and it's also used for life sciences and uh, life sciences codes, artificial intelligent codes, self-driving cars. The GPUs have played a very tremendous important role in shaping uh, the way computer science has, uh, has taken, over, uh, taken over the world in some sense. So on, on bottom, you can see you know, the headquarters, uh, which is in Santa Clara. So what do I do now? Uh, I am um, uh, a research intern at, uh, at NVIDIA Research Lab. That's where I'm pursuing my computer's PhD in computer science. Now I, I study things like uh, like pattern recognition and, uh, and, and machine learning. And uh, we, we learn from data. Learning from data is, uh, is, uh, is a very important topic. And uh, uh, because in this age of uh, big data and machine learning, uh, we use uh, we, we we try and understand machine learning from an algorithms perspective and implement it uh, in uh, in um, in real systems using GPUs and uh, you know low low power CPUs and um, so my uh, my initial days at CMRIT um, helped me kind of uh, 
shape my uh, thinking uh, and uh, you know and the aptitude that you need to be able to solve analytical problems uh, particularly in in complex domains uh, so i was uh, very fortunate uh, to have uh, uh, landed up uh, in a research lab like Nvidia Research Lab, uh, I would like. Uh, and, and and if I look back and then think about, um, uh, you know, how uh, how you know what kind of uh, uh, skills and uh, you know and uh, and uh, the thinking ability you need to to be able to uh, deliver deliver a good quality research and a, a good quality uh, papers as as a research student. Uh, these were uh, skills that I we developed way back, uh, you know, uh, during my first job and uh, during my uh, uh, during my engineering days at CMRIT. I still uh, I still remember being you know criticized uh, constructively for my uh, initial presentation, initial writing, because as very young students you would you would uh, you would not know how to write and produce scientific material. Um, but we really received a lot of constructive um, feedback from professors. Um, and uh, the kind of discipline they inculcate into you and um, the kind of constructive feedback they give you really helps you shape um, shape your thinking during your early career. And that really has a long-term impact on uh, the way you go about solving problems, the way you go about selecting problems to solve, and the way you present, right? It's, it's very important about, you know, not just getting some scientific results, but also presenting it uh, in a fashion that everyone can understand. So these are skills that uh, you know, um, which which were developed uh, at very early early stage of my career at uh, CMIT. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank my uh, professors um, at CMIT, uh, not just my professors but also the management uh, and and the staff and lab assistants and everyone involved in making CMIT what it is. I visited CMIT a few months back when I was in India for for a vacation. And I presented some of my recent research work, so they do encourage uh, you know the alumni to come back and and and, and present their research, and uh, I was uh, I was very fortunate for that opportunity, and uh, and we had a lot of uh, good interactions with the teachers with with the, with the lecturers and uh, and students, and so I, w I had an opportunity to motivate them to pursue higher studies and to have a career like mine. Like I was encouraging them. To tell them that I am no, I'm not special in any way. I am an ordinary CMIT student. Anyone can, you know, uh, you know, pursue their dreams. All they would need to do is, you know, work hard and uh, and and uh, and you know, understand uh, the, the concepts uh, in depth and uh, you know, pursue and uh, with with perse perseverance would would uh, would would uh, help them, uh, you know, get to get a get, get a dream career that that they all you know hope for. And uh, and I also uh, met with a lot of my uh, professors. So it was a very uh, very nice experience. So um, I would uh, I would like to uh, once again thank you for uh, spending your time uh, listening to me for uh, the last few minutes. And I hope you're all staying safe um, in this uh, period of quarantine and lockdown. Uh, this will all get very get we get off very soon. And uh, I hope you all uh, the very best. And uh, and I can once again congratulate uh, the CMRIT management and uh, and all the staff members uh, involved in uh, shaping um, you know uh, the curriculum and uh, the infrastructure of CMRIT to be a very encouraging and a very positive environment, positive learning environment, and uh, shaping the the shaping the lives of uh, engineers. And research scientists like me, um, and I would like to like to thank you all once again uh, for giving giving me this opportunity to uh, give my testimonial. Thank you all, and namaste.